गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स एंड सिग्नल फ्लोग्राफ्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो व्हाट इज अ ब्लॉक डायग्राम सो इट इज अ वे ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग मल्टीपल सब सिस्टम्स व्हाट इज पर्पस ऑफ सिग्नल फ्लोग्राफ इट इज एन अल्टरनेटिव मेथड टू ब्लॉक डायग्राम सो बेसिकली बोथ ब्लैक ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड सिग्नल फ्लोग्राफ डू द सेम जॉब I mean, uh, representing multiple subsystems. Let's check the second point. So, what does block diagram include? So, as you know, block diagram consists of blocks, signals, summing junctions, and pick off points. How about signal flow graphs? Signal flow graphs consist of only consist of branches which represent systems and nodes, and then in turn which represent signals. what is the third difference so we can see the example so we have this as a block diagram output input right and in case of signal flow graph we have node and we have signal right so this is how signal flow graph looks like what is the next difference the next difference is very important uh, so what is it it is basically for block diagram self loop does not exist but in case of signal flow graph self loop can exist so these are the few uh, different differences or differentiating factors or comparison points between block diagram and signal flow graph i will show you one more example like how does a block diagram look like uh, looks like and how does signal flow graph look like looks like so let's see first of all signal flow graph so signal flow graphs will look like something like this right so you have nodes different nodes and then signals and how does your block diagram looks like so block diagram looks like the, something like this you have input you have output you have summing points you have gains here you have feedbacks right so this is we have branching points so this is how the block diagram looks so And that's what the today's lecture was about the differences between block diagram and signal flow graph thank you and have a great day